My name is Natasha, Professor Natasha Kol. Uh, I am a scholar, uh, an academic. Uh, I specialize in politics and international relations. It is what I do. I study democracy. Uh, and I, I am, uh, in my work, I have often expressed uh, a concern for democratic erosion, for the ways in which liberal democratic values are being undermined by majoritarian nationalisms in India, but also not only in India and also in other countries. And I have studied the analytics of it. I have also uh, I have also peer reviewed work on the rise of the right wing in India, and why that has that has been a pernicious and divisive political project. Um, and why that is not uh, why that is not conducive to India's uh, future and to the co cohesion in its population, uh, people are uh, people being driven by hate uh, for political profit, uh, politics and religion being conflated so that leaders get to be seen as gods. Uh, is not is not good for any democracy, and I've stressed all of that. I have also written about uh, denial of rights and justice to people everywhere, um, be that people who live an, on any longitude and latitude, and regardless of their religion. Uh, I am being vilified, character assassinated, and uh, all sorts of things are being said about me simply because I refuse to toe the line, and because I am critical of the government. The government and the state are not the same thing. Uh, being worried for democracy in India does not make me a Pakistan sympathizer. It also does not make me be someone who has an agenda or a vested interest. Uh, it is possible to call out injustice um, and and hypocrisy everywhere. Um, we, we should all we should all uh, uh, do more of it. And the people who are doing that in the present are the ones who are uh, facing the brunt of this kind of uh, attack and these kinds of arbitrary punishments and including denial of access to, in, in my case, for example, to both to my mother and to my motherland. Um, uh, this uh, this is is my only hope that I can somehow reach through to people in India directly, because uh, on the social media, on places where the right wing ecosystem is very active and very organized, uh, all it is impossible for me, no matter how hard I try to combat the uh, the the level of vitriol, abuse, and threat that I'm facing. Um, and and I hope that with this message I can get through some of of through through some of that horrible horrible noise and the fog of hate that uh, that is leveled against a uh, critic. I was as an academic I was invited to a conference uh, officially, uh, which was a conference about constitution. Uh, you know I work on democracy. I was only going to be there two days. I have never had an experience like this in any country in the world. Uh, I was not given any reason. I was only taunted about the fact that I had been critical of the right of the RSS and of Ram Madhav. Uh, it it felt really arbitrary and inhumane, uh, and the the fact that I was subjected to all this. Um, it this is not how democracies work. I am no threat to to any country. Uh, why why should I be? I'm a scholar and somebody who who cares for values. And I believe that we should all have a right to be able to express our points of view in the public sphere without uh, being subjected to uh, hate and malice and, um, uh, and 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 attack in this manner. And uh, this is the message that I would like to convey to you. Thank you. I also, I want to really, really thank everyone who's expressed solidarity. Um, it means a lot. Thank you.